Are you a van lifer or have gone camping, hiking, backpacking, or on a road trip and have worried about your possessions in your car while you're gone? Well, I've got a solution for you. Today I'll show you multiple hiding spots and secret compartments in a vehicle. Now it doesn't matter what vehicle you have, every vehicle will have multiple secret hiding compartments, you just have to know where to look. So let's start running through these. First off, if you look underneath your seat, many vehicles, at least some, will have a secret drawer underneath on the passenger side. Some of them have it on the driver's side too, mine doesn't. And you can see, it's quite a bit of storage in here. I just store my jumper cables and my uh, jump box thing in there, but. Now if you don't have a drawer in there, you can actually make one with a piece of wood or a piece of plastic, cut it in there, jam it up so it floats like two inches above. That way someone looks underneath the seat, they won't see anything, but you can hide stuff in there. Now there's different hiding spots for different things, whether it's your wallet, money, uh, rings, or something bigger. So I'm gonna cover that in all these different spots. Now while we're still in the passenger side, you can also go underneath your uh, mats. This is probably a more obvious solution, but what people won't think is if you go past your mats, you see there there's this velvety material. Well, at the very back, it, it you can peel it back, at least on my Honda CRV, so you can get, you know, an envelope, a wallet, um, a little bit bigger stuff behind there, and just it'll be a bit of a bulge here, but no one will see that when the mat's on there. Now the same goes for the upholstery up here. So you can see, I can fit my fingers in there, I can probably jam like a full envelope in there. Um, things that are a little bit thinner. So you can see, it's, it's, there's, you can definitely fit stuff in here. While we're at the uh, passenger side, let's talk about this. So I keep my uh, headrest off, as you can see. That way it gives me better uh, shoulder checking out this side. But a lot of these headrests, mine is a bit of a pain in the butt, so I don't use mine, but there's like a zipper right here where this crack is. Um, some of them might be on the side, but you can open this up and then stuff stuff in here. No one will ever know. Now it comes down to it. Nobody's going to steal a headrest. They're not going to think, oh, there's, you know, <laughs> $800 of cash in there or a wallet or your passport or whatever. They're just going to leave that thing. But maybe since it's an easy item to grab, you wouldn't want to put your most valuable uh, possessions in there. Often vehicles have these little compartments that people don't use that often, like this. This is for, uh, like, I guess, sunglasses. Uh, I wouldn't put anything super valuable up there, but you can. Mine has this weird one here where you can see it's got this. So I've got a glove box down here and the glove box has a lock, but that's just screaming for someone to smash that with a hammer and open it up. This one is a little bit weird and it opens, it's, there's no lock, but where you could hide stuff, you could get an envelope, say if you had some cash. There's a rubber lining underneath, you can see here. And if you get your fingernail under there, it peels up. So you could definitely hide an envelope under there. No one would ever know. And when you grab in here, it doesn't come out. So they would just look and see these crappy old headphones and then move on. Now one spot I have thought about, but I don't have, um, inside my cargo box, you could make a false roof. You could get a piece of plastic and cut it exactly the same shape, put a few beads of, uh, like hot glue and then you can squeeze it and pop it into shape and it would have a false roof. Then you could pull that down and put documents, passport, something like that. But I wouldn't, use that for anything too important because it's just too easy to break these things open maybe if you have like one of those nice cargo boxes that are like really strong and got proper locks and stuff mine you could <laughs> probably just bash open with any sort of basic tool for that reason i don't keep anything that valuable in there now if we go on the driver's side one thing that's a little bit unique on this side is you always have like it's usually muddy and dirty down here because that's where you're driving so i wouldn't use the floor mats on the other side but i would use them here so if you peel this back you can put, you know, money, wallet, whatever there, and no one's gonna be looking for your, your valuables underneath a muddy floor mat. They're just not going to. One of the best hiding spots is inside your seats. Now I've only got, uh, I've got a bed built here, so I only have one seat and then the two in the front. The front ones don't work that well, at least in my vehicle, but the back ones do. So the one seat I do have here and the other two seats that I used to have are all the same. There's gonna be a zipper on the side for the leather, and you can just get this open with your finger and then you've got tons and tons of space to hide stuff and no one will ever know it's in there and you just zip that back up. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, there we go. And then just put that back up and it's hidden. Now if you're doing van life, you'll have a lot of weird spaces too that people aren't used to seeing. Like I've got a, a desk here so you can easily hide stuff in there and slide that in. I've got my garbage can, which is one of the best hiding spots you can have uh, in, in a vehicle. So if it looks like a garbage can, right, you've got it, you know, like that, and there's clearly garbage in there, you're going to store stuff underneath it right there. That's where you're going to store stuff. No one's going to look for that there. It's something to note with a garbage can. Normally I keep my stuff there and I jam it in there, so it's really hard to get that box out. So someone would actually have to lift the trash up 
to check underneath it because the box doesn't come out easily. You want to make it difficult like that. So guaranteed that's going to be one of the best places, the trash can in a, in a tight spot. Give me your honest opinion. Would you be looking in the bottom of a garbage can for valuables? Hmm? Now, one of the biggest hiding spots is going to be in your wheel well where your spare tire is under here. There's plenty of room to hide stuff in there. Now, this might be a bit of a more obvious place to look. I honestly have no idea if thieves would look in there, but what you're going to do is make it more difficult for them to go look in there. So while this is what mine looks like right now, when I'm van lifing, I would have bins in there and more, look more like this. So now we got all this stuff back here. It's like, it's impossible now. You can't, you can't open this up. It's too heavy. So you're going to have to take all this crap out before they can get under there. It's just going to deter someone who's looking to steal stuff. So another one here that would be situational is if you have a water tank, you're a van lifer, you can hide stuff in your water tank. Now, granted, you wouldn't have water in your water tank. You could also potentially kind of do some like glue welding, cut the top off and have like a secret compartment in there. But simply just not having water in there, you could stuff stuff in there. Now, another one for passports and money and that kind of thing, things that are thin is wherever there's like a plastic piece and upholstery, there's spots where it's not quite, you know, bound together and you can just you know look for your vehicle and there's places you can just kind of squeeze stuff in there um, you'll have to figure it out in this case i've got abs over here so you don't want to fiddle with it too much this might loosen up so it doesn't fit flush all the time so something to kind of check out but on both sides it's the same on my vehicle see there's space here to easily get in some uh you know smaller stuff now, if you got some jewelry or like a wedding ring i sold mine but uh, i'm divorced so Anything like that, smaller things that you really need a good spot for, let me show you a couple. So some vehicles have these seatbelt things in the back of the vehicle. And in this case, you can just peel that down and just put something right, right in there. Just tuck it right in there. Put that back up, no one's looking in there. A lot of vehicles have these kind of uh, compartments and all it takes is a screwdriver to prop them open there'll be a little bit of space and probably some wires and other stuff but you can just hide a ring in there and pop that back on and there's other ones too like this one up here you can pop that open there's another one down here underneath my steering wheel there's like a bit of a rubber gasket thing here you could have a little like a, a, a pouch or like a wallet or something and just stuff it in there uh, if you're really worried you can have a piece of black string and just tie it to something like this actually this thing right here would be perfect and then you can just take the string off and pull it out once you get back. So hopefully that gives you a few ideas of where to hide valuables in your vehicle. Let me know in the comments down below if any of those surprised you and I'll see you in the next episode.